What's going on, guys? Scorpion Heal. How are all of you guys doing today? I know I'm doing this fabulous. And today we're going to be back at it again with another top 5, but the top 10 or like all maps ranked or whatever. But today we're going to be having all Call of Duty Black Ops 1 campaign missions ranked worst. So, no, not all like, but we're going to be doing the top 6 of them. The top six. And I, by top six, I mean top six. Okay. Hope you guys do enjoy this. Don't forget to leave a comment and like as I love you guys. It would really help out the channel by let's get into this. You guys, coming in at number six is going to be Rebirth. <sighs> Man. I, this is a this was pretty fun, and I also want to note that you guys too. I also want to note that I did play all of the, I did play all of the missions before I made this list and stuff. So that's certainly not so. So what is this mission about? This is a very, very fun mission to me. I like it. I mean, like... And, you know, it's not like the other missions. This mission, you have to be as quiet as you possibly can. First, you have to, like, get out of here. And then you have to, like, I don't even know. All I know is that first, you have to get to the roof of the building. You have to kill this guy, and then you have to get to the roof of the building. You have to confront and pretty much kill Stan. You have to be as quiet as you possibly can. Um, it's pretty, it, to me, it's so fun, it's almost hard. And I like to just kind of, after I played this the first time, I actually went on it and played it a second time and just kind of screwed around a bit. And I didn't really, like, look like, oh, look, I'm going to go try to figure this out. I mean, uh, I just kind of went on and screwed around a bit. This mission altogether is fun. And after you confront and kill Steiner, you, um, I forgot what I was going to say. Dang it, I'm lost for words. You, um, become Hudson and you see his side of how he entered Rebirth Island. So this was really, really fun. I loved it. I mean, I... Every second of this just sneaking around. So much fun, too. And the fact that you have to, like, sneak around and just kill people. It's even funner. I mean, I love this. And it's not... And this definitely isn't a mission where, like, you can complete in, like, 10... In, like, 20 minutes only. Or, like, 15 minutes or something. I mean, like, this is a mission that you have to, like, walk at. And especially in, this, in the parts where you have to sneak around. You have to be, like... Really slow whenever the helicopter's out, like I am right now. I just be like super freaking slow. It's not even like, it's not, it's, you have to be like stupid slow. I mean, like, this is a fun mission. I love it, and it just comes in at number six. Definitely, this is definitely one of the more funnel of the missions that there are. And this is Operation 40. Who doesn't want to go on an assassination attempt where you just charge in and nobody cares? Like, nobody just cares. Just, just nobody cares. Legit. Just, just nobody cares. I mean, like, who doesn't want to play that? I mean, like, legit bluntly. So, first off, you start off where I just was. And then you have to fight your way through the streets down for a little while. And then you just basically have to kind of escape from the police, do cool stuff, that, that, that. Once you escape from the police, you go, you have to, you're testing to then go cash show. And most of the time, I recommend you're probably going to get him with a headshot. But you find out he was a double, and you get captured by this piece of crap named Jagovich or something. Jagovich. Haha, <laughs> you can make a funny meme out of that, but I'm not going to say it. Not a meme, but just a funny joke out of it. But, in this is just a fun mission. From the fact that it's, like, the Bay of Pigs, I mean, like, who doesn't, who doesn't, who wouldn't want to do this? Just, who wouldn't want to do this? This is a fun, fun game. I love playing it, man. 
I mean, like, just, it's fun. It's all around fun. And you do, you gotta go drive out of this place. It's fun. I love it, you guys. Who doesn't want to go and try to assassinate Castro? And I'm not, and, I'm, and it's not like some random guy named Castro. I mean, like, it is like Castro. It is the Cuban guy who died in like, oh, like 15. Or, like, uh, Ca what? Fidel Ca Castro. Who doesn't want to try to kill him? Okay. And this is also like the first mission for Black Ops. That is awesome. Just, that's awesome. Wait, who doesn't want to play this? Next one is going to be SOG. Now, as far as I know, people don't really value this mission to be a fun mission. But it's definitely the more, like, legitimate, uh, war mission for this. Because, you know, you have the Nova 6 stuff and all this undercover stuff. And I understand. I get what they were going with, like... Yeah, it's called Black Ops, so you're probably gonna be like a Black Ops or something. But I, I get that. Like the campaign's fun. It's definitely like one of my most favorite ones that I've played. Okay. And this mission, though, it just, it just, it just. I don't. I just don't know, man. I, this is a fun mission. Okay. It's the. I, to me, it kind of symbolizes World War One with, like, kind of how you have, like, the trenches and, you know, like, the charging and stuff. I don't know why. It, it just kind of reminds me of that. Don't, don't ask me why. I don't, I don't, I, I, I just don't have a reason for that. But, the, like, the, they made, like, the funnest one and just, like, bumped it up three notches. This is, like, a fun one. I said that, like, 20 times now. Okay. I love this mission. It's so much fun. I don't know how to put it into wars at all. I like how all the, uh, Vietnamese, bad guys, the bad Vietnamese people are charging to you. And you have to, like, kill them. And you have all these special missions to do. And this is one part of the mission where you get, where I just stay there for, like, half the mission. I, I, I sometimes play this just to do that part, just to do that mission part. I would do, like, all of this just to play that one part of the mission. I, I don't even play anything else. I just play this part, man. I just love. Like, up here, right here. It's like, this is where I like to just stay and stuff, okay? Because it just... It's just so much fun. And I like to just, you know, and other than that, I mean, like, there's a lot of cool stuff about it, how you have to go through afterwards and you, like, light the tank and, like, do all of that cool stuff. I'm like, yeah, I mean, like, that's cool. But what if I kind of just don't want to do that? What if I kind of want to go, like, not do that? What if I just want to stay here? Like, I'll come here. I'll do, I'll do the rest of stuff here. Then I'll come into this bunker here, and then I'll just stay here. If I need to, I'll get on the MG just so that I don't die. But most of the time, I'll just have this freaking M14 getting headshots, because this gun is freaking powerful. Like, you guys, the people who have played this, yeah, you guys know that this gun is powerful, but this is like, like, it's not that good in zombies. It's like the starting wall weapon or something. But just, man, did they just make it OP in this. I mean, like, I'm going to start doing some more. I'm going to do this, see how it goes. I'm going to do another zombie top 10, see how that goes. Do another top 10 for this. See how it goes. It's kind of do fun stuff like that. That's kind of what I'm doing with these top 10s. But I hope you guys, let's go into the next. Coming in at the number three spot, taking it in with the bonds, is the... Final mission. You know what's funny? Coming in at number five is Op 40, which is the first mission. And now we have this mission, which is the last mission that there is in the game. 
Oh, at least in the campaign. And it is definitely one of the best missions in the campaign. It's bonds, okay? It takes the bonds. It, I'm sorry, no. It didn't even own the bonds. It stole the bonds. I mean, like, this could have gone a lot higher up on the list, but I just... I just didn't feel like it was that good. It's pretty, it's good enough though to get like this or something like that, but this isn't like the go-to mission for me. I have a different go-to mission for me, okay? But this is just like one of the funnest missions that there possibly could be. I love it. It's It can be so challenging sometimes. And at the same time, it can't really be that challenging. It just, it, it's just fun. It's just fun. And you know what? What I forgot to say too is that because it's the final mission of the campaign, you have to do something epic. You have to kill somebody. You have to do something epic like that. You do kill somebody. You do finally kill Dragovich. I know I don't have um, gameplay of it, but I just totally forgot about that. I was like. Oh, it's just, it's just fun. But, really, this is, like, the last mission in the campaign, and I love it so, 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 so much. And just to go over all of these different ones, I mean, like, Project Nova, that's a really fun one. I, like, love it. Victor Charlie, eh, no, no, no. WMD. Well, like, these are just all the missions. I should also say that USDD and... Revelations are not going to be on the list, too. I mean, like, there are two honorable mentions. Well, those two kind of are on it, but not one of them. One of them is, but, yeah, so. So, we're going to go ahead and go in with the next one, which is going to be Payback. So, the final three weapon, um, weapons. So, the final three ones that you play... Final three missions that you play and you kill people are on are all freaking awesome. I mean, like, they're all in the top six. I don't know where I'm going with that, okay? But, holy, is this two payback stealing in with the freaking silver or bronze or whatever the crap it is? It's payback. I don't know if I'm going to have footage, any footage of it, actually. But I love this mission. It was just fun. Just really fun. I loved it. I mean, like, it's fun because, you know, you're being tortured. And then Bowman gets killed. And then you go, you kill everybody in the base. And then you go and you fly a helicopter around. And then you go and you find Reznov. And then you go and you kill, kill Kepshenko because he comes back in a different one. But this one, there's just a lot of stuff that you did in this one. This one really does deserve this. Not not just because of the loss of Bowman, but also because, like, half of the mission is doing a hel helicopter. So, I mean, like, that's... That's all. I mean, I love it. I, lo I love it. I love it. You guys, it's so much fun. Uh, I don't know if anybody expected who's actually played the... Black Ops, the entire Black Ops 1 campaign, I don't think anybody expected this map not to come in, and at least the top three, okay? This is one of the, this is bound to be one of the best Black Ops campaign missions. I just love this mission, man. It is so much fun. I love, I just love it. It's so much fun. Okay, so you're in a labor camp, okay, from this, you were sent here because you tried to kill, uh, Castro. The second mission in the campaign, the campaign starts out really, really strong. And secure the keys. And this is really fun because you have to, you just break out of a prison. It's not even funny. How awesome this is. It's just fun. I mean, like, it's really fun. And I also like, like, 
how they made like this guy be all super bulky and he and him like be like a Hulk. Listen. Yes, yes, I'm very, very glad. It's just, this is a lot of fun. I just love to just come on here and play Vokuta, you know, because you start off with the knife, and then you can get the Makarov if you want it. And then you can get other guns as you go along. You can get, like, the, and then you destroy, you do all this stuff, and you follow the escape plan, which also just happened the, they also happen to be the steps to the urgency stick. But this is just the best level ever! I can't even put it into words. Like, the steps. This is such a fun mission, Mr. Sergei. And then you also get, and then you get a freaking minigun after you shoot these big call, tall things and you um, destroy a helicopter and you do all this other stuff. You get a minigun. You get a freaking minigun. Who doesn't want a minigun? But you get a freaking minigun. And you can just go wreck. You can just go ham with that. And then and then you get to go right out on a freaking motorcycle chase. This is like the best formula for a campaign mission ever. Whoever just whoever would say that this is the worst is like a freaking Call of Duty hater. Or just like a hater of everything that Black Ops is. Cause this is what Black Ops is. This Black Ops is not fun. It's supposed I mean like, yeah, it's fun, but it's also supposed to be challenging. Too. And I feel like they really stepped up the challenging part on this one. Just because of the fact that it's just so much fun, and that just adds challenge to it, that, you know, you have to escape, and you get the knife, and then you have to get the Makarov, and then you can get that shotgun, and then you can get an AK-47 directly after you get the shotgun. You just get all these different weapons, it's so much fun. Whoever doesn't like this is not cool. I mean, yeah, I mean, like, if you still just, it's challenging because you have to do all this sort of stuff. I just can't really put it into words, and I'm also just going to have to end it there, because I'm kind of tight on time. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this. Please do tell me if you guys want to see some more of these, like, top 10... If you guys want to see me do, um, top 10 campaign stuff, or if you guys want to see me do more zombies, please tell me down in the description. I will do both anyways, but I will do more, like, if you guys want zombies, I would do more zombies than I do campaign. If you guys want campaign, then I would do more... Black Ops campaign stuff than I do zombies, like, top 10 weapons to use in the, uh, campaign. Like, obviously, you're probably gonna see the AK-47 and the Commando and Galo. I don't know. It just really depends, but, uh, you guys just gonna have to wait till the next one. I hope you guys did enjoy this. I love you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this, because I enjoyed making it much I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys in the next one. Kill me. Bye-bye. Love you guys.